Al Karafi Activity Centre in Kuwait is the first centre of its kind in the Middle East and Gulf region that is dedicated to the development and education of children with disabilities and special needs. Here is Sarah Glubb with this special report on the centre and the regular training programmes they offer. The Al Khrafi Activity Kids Centre aims to offer services for all children with disabilities and special needs in Kuwait throughout the year in a safe environment and to offer educational, social and psychological programs and treatments within an enjoyable environment and offer opportunities for self-directed play. We have the theater, which involves you know group activities, one-to-one uh, -one, on one-to-one -one basis, and try to get all the kids, all forms of disabilities involved in one area. And then we have the art station that involves you know different uh, capabilities of children being distributed among the room, where uh, certain activities can be presented by to each individual uh, according to his likes and dislikes. And then we have the multitask room where children can join in for an indoor soccer game, for example, or for a lunch, uh, you know, for a mini snack all together. Maybe we'll have like a different forms of activities done with that area that involves more of a group work because it's a large hall. And then we have the Makaton one-to-one language. The Makaton program provides an organizational approach to the teaching of language and communication for children and adults with communication and learning disabilities. The program uses speech, manual signs and symbols as different ways to enhance the individual's ability to express themselves, understand and help interact with other peers. We have 12 months, this is how long we work and every month has a specific theme. For example, if this month says family, then everything that's being delivered to the center has that mission, you know, family, you know, what's the importance of family. If I'm playing a game, I would use family, you know, uh, uh, individuals as, you know, persons, you know, the names. Uh, if I'm doing an art activity, I would involve, you know, a present being done for the family, um, you know, like a craft, a crafted item that can be, you know, sent as a gift home. Volunteers play a vital role in running the centre, and the centre values the time and efforts of the volunteers and welcomes all volunteers to come share in their training programmes. Actually, I do base uh, all of my work on the ideas being brought in from outdoors, from volunteers, and I try to, because that's how, you know, uh, good societies or, you know, the community usually works. It's not a, an individual effort, it's kind of a group effort. So if we're about 16 uh, workers, play workers here at the center, then I need somebody from outdoors to just give me, keep me posted and updated regarding what's going on in the community, how, how well uh, do we need to um, a feedback regarding what I can change and allow it to be, you know, give a better presentation. And then I would provide them with a certified uh, certificate from the center that says you have been there to support the kids, you have done your job. Um, and I wouldn't even let you go unless you are 100% confident that you are able to, you know, go to the society and say that I am able to support disabled kids. Their training programs emphasize the importance of play and include lectures and workshops, play training, training volunteers and volunteer groups, practical training for professionals, guidance and counseling for parents. We believe that the society is a whole. Disabled children are not a group of individuals within the society, they do complete the society as one. If disabled children or disabled people um, with their minor capabilities are unable to, to, to handle their own life, right? If you're a non-disabled person and you're unable to join in or be involved with a disabled person, who's actually the disabled person here? The Al Khrafi Activity Kids Center was established through joint collaboration between private and governmental institutions, but it was the donations of generous people that gave the center its big heart and affectionate love. With the help of the Kuwaiti community, this charitable effort will continue to prosper and serve as a beacon for the Arab states and the Gulf region. From the Al Khrafi Activity Kids Center, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.